Hey, welcome back. You're in the C-Space studio, sponsored by Salesforce here at CES 2023. I am James Kotecki, and I'm joined by a Super Bowl champion, Jen Prince, Chief Commercial Officer of the Super Bowl champion, LA Rams. Thanks so much for joining us here. Of course, James. So, um, Chief Commercial Officer at an NFL team, what does that mean? What do you do day to day? That's a great question. So. I started December 1st. It was the first time that the Los Angeles Rams brought in a chief commercial officer, which is essentially creating partnerships that span across working with brands to technology partners and thinking about how can we catapult our business forward, but by way of other brands getting to sit alongside the Los Angeles Rams. And so commercially, we are working with partners and we go very deep in our partnerships. So we do not call our team sponsorships, for example. Mm, okay. We call ourselves partnerships. We're a team of almost 35 people strong and we are very excited about the conversations that we've had and the partnerships that we've developed plus what is to come in the future. Yeah. I know they're probably all your children and you appreciate all the partnerships that you have. Do any stand out as particularly interesting or maybe relevant for the CES James, audience? James, you're not supposed to ask that <laughs> if they're all equally important. Um, we have almost 90 partners and we have from a few years ago when we opened SoFi, we have our founding partners, our naming mm -hmm. rights partner in yep. SoFi, for example. Um, but really when we think about the categories of companies that want to connect with us, it really does span across everything from auto to technology to travel, yeah. um, media and entertainment and more. So I do love them equally. <laughs> they all play a role in how we get to show up because we're sitting mm -hmm. alongside of them. And so they all really stand out. And how does technology play a role for you in what you do? You're obviously here at CES for a reason. So how are you using technology to promote these partnerships? Yes, so technology innovation is one at the core of how the Los Angeles Rams have always been thinking we're first in everything. When you look back at our history um, from having the first openly gay player to the first black contracted player to the first male cheerleader and on and on and on, right? So when we think about everything from football, our coach, our style, how we do things differently, challenging the status quo, we think about innovation and technology. And so we showed up at CES, which is not as expected for a sports team, yet we are using innovation throughout the fan journey, how we think about our brand, the types of partners that we're aligning with, um, how we are operating and really touch points and engagement with consumers. So CES has been really meaningful for us to not only think about the next technologies that are gonna make us better and smarter with how we engage from the football field to with fans, um, partners alike, but also just how to stay ahead of the curve, think yeah. differently and be defiantly original in our thinking. What are some of those technologies that you think fans will get to experience in the coming years that will change and elevate the brand experience? Yeah, so when you think about game day as an example, which is our season, right? And our season is about to end and we have to think about the off season and 365 and our touch points with fans because they never sleep, they never yeah. take breaks. Um, and so I would say that the touch points are the in real life venue experience and how do we make them meaningful? How do we bring innovation, the freshness, into each season. So we have been at SoFi for the last two years with fans in stands. Um, and so we have taken all the learnings from these two years, but we're just getting started. The state of the art facility has incredible technology, innovation and capabilities. We continue to pull levers, but when we think about our technology stack and how we can layer things on top of that, it's all to surprise and delight yeah. fans and to keep the experience very fresh. Do you use the term metaverse and how you're thinking about the future? We talk about that a lot here in the C-Space studio. If so, what does that mean and kind of what are you thinking along those yeah, lines? Yeah, so we definitely think about the metaverse. Um, we had partnered earlier last season with Six Connects as one example, where we have a virtual Rams fan house, a Rams house that virtually, if you can't be at SoFi Stadium mm. for our games in season or if off season you want to get that surprise and delight and connection with the Rams, you can go to the fans, um, sorry, the fans can go into yeah. the Rams house and into the stands And this is a physical virtually. building? No, oh, this it's, is it's in all the virtual. metaverse, okay, so it's cool. all virtual. Cool, cool. And so it's just this nice enhancement and um, complement to being yeah. in the building. And for mm -hmm. those of um, the fans who can't be there or those who are interested in seeing SoFi Stadium, you can get into 
the culture and the ethos of the Los Angeles Rams with Six Connects and with everything that really matters. We're creating other metaverse-like experiences, which is even just when we think about AR, yeah. which is also why we are here, is how we're using AR as this incredible enhancement to the experience of what you see and what meets the eye versus what you can through a screen. Um, and how we're democratizing the way that AR impacts our fans as well. And this would be for folks who are in the, on the, at the game, they can look onto the field and see different overlays and things like that? Yeah, so with our partnership with Around, um, we have tested this season when you're in the stadium, you can use their app, which we're prompting you to from our infinity screen. Yeah. And then when you're sitting there, you can see more from your actual seat and location. But for those who are not at SoFi Stadium on game day, we had another experience, so it was a choose-your-own-adventure through cool. the app around to then see SoFi Stadium from afar as well. Did winning the Super Bowl, so this was about three months after you joined the organization, yes. I think, your organization won the Super yes. Bowl. Did winning the Super Bowl change your job in any significant way? Did it make it harder? Did it make it easier? And you're, you're holding up the ring right <laughs> That's there. That's for you, yep. James. Oh, this is for me? Yes. So I'll hold this up for folks. I don't know if we can get a tight shot of this. This is a legit, this is, I mean, this obviously, is obviously, the Super Bowl this ring. is the Super Bowl ring. I guess the fact that I'm holding it makes me a, a de facto or like second tier Super Bowl champion, like for the moment until I give this back. So thank you so much for this <laughs> sure. honor. Um, I feel empowered. Um, but did it change your job in a significant way? I mean, winning the Super Bowl is, you know, the North Star for sports and NFL, and it has really elevated what's possible, not only on the field, but in the business. So I walked in December 1st. Um, I got to finish the season and the Super Bowl, but then thinking about planning the future, not only for this next season and beyond, it really helped us think about how do we stay humble, but have this incredible win um, to really help elevate what we are. And as, if you think about our brand, for example, the Los Angeles Rams um, is really a global brand and we pride ourselves on that in that we're not just an NFL team sitting in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. We get to sit in the center of SoFi Stadium, which has become this mecca um, of entertainment sitting in the heart of Los Angeles and is bringing more than just the Los Angeles Rams into the building. But we think with all of the assets and all of the wins plus what's to come in our business and how we continue just iterating on our thinking, um, the Super Bowl just helped catapult what's possible with partnerships, yeah. community events, player interaction, um, bringing more attention to SoFi Stadium and more. So beyond your industry, beyond the sports world, is there someone else or something else that kind of inspires you to innovate? So I would say CES has been this incredible um, place that I have been to probably a dozen years. And coming here, there are so many individuals, plus just innovations and technologies that I think have played a major role in my career getting to this place. However, I am newer to sports, sitting at a team directly. And Stan Kroenke um, and what he brings with Kroenke Sports and Entertainment, he, even though he sits within sports and within um, the Rams organization at the top as ownership, what he brings with all of the other assets, teams, and capabilities to what we think about in our business, I would say it's Stan Kroenke and his organization. Well, thanks so much. I'm, I'm going to put this on and see if I like achieve. Can I put this on? I want you to put I, that on. I'm going to see if I achieve new powers, <laughs> new powers here in the studio. Thanks so much for joining us. Of course. Jen Price of the LA Rams. And of course, I'm going to give this back to you. I'm almost nervous holding this. Thank you so much for joining of us course. here in the C-Space studio. Of course. Thank you, James. And thank you so much for watching. This is the C-Space studio here at CES 2023. I'm James Kotecki. More conversations are just ahead. Stick around.